what's more Italian than authentic homemade Sicilian cannoli at Sol Mio BKK. Come and see. Sol Mio Italian restaurant in Bangkok's trendy Thong Law neighborhood piqued my interest, and I was eager to dine there. I'd heard from a lot of people that the food here is fantastic. With my son and a friend, Leonard, we set out on Friday night to meet the owner, Domenico. We all arrived a little early, so we decided to grab a cold beer on the patio. To kill time until Domenico came to the table, we ordered the tartafutta, white pizza, which is a pizza with a white sauce rather than the traditional tomato-based one. Because I had a bad experience with a white sauce pizza many years ago, I decided to give it another go here. Honestly, this pizza was one of Bangkok's best. Aside from the perfect crust, the white sauce and the mouth-watering toppings, this pizza was everything a pizza should be. I've never had a pizza like this before. In addition, I anticipate returning to the white pizza on a regular basis. What kind of pizza is white pizza, exactly? Pizza Bianca is a common name for this dish, which is typically made with a white sauce instead of tomato as a base. This tartafutta pizza's white sauce was bursting with flavor. Tartafutta pizza. In Bangkok, the weather is never bad. We sat outside on the deck because it was a beautiful day. Definitely not like living in the Canadian winters, bruh. We devoured the pizza that was brought out. With our stomachs growling after a long day at work, we happily savored this delicious pizza. We were finally greeted by Domenico, the charming proprietor. After that, the real fun began. The patio was buzzing with lively discussions about Bangkokian life and lots of belly laughs. He was a wonderful host who made us feel right at home. Ravioli butter and sage, vegetarian. Domenico immediately inquired about our dietary restrictions, and upon learning that my son was a vegetarian, he prepared the following dish for us. Sol Mio's kitchen made the ravioli filled with spinach. I mean, as we savored the ravioli one by one, the pasta was melting in our mouths and our taste buds were dancing joyfully. Four cheeses gnocchi, quattro formaggio. My friend Leonard and son, Zamir loved the gnocchi with four cheeses, quattro formaggio. The traditional pairing of four cheeses in a creamy sauce was too irresistible for me to resist. After tasting Domenico's dish carefully, I was able to identify the quattro formaggio, four cheeses, as provolone, gorgonzola, romano, and fontina. Thankfully, Leonard was on the money when he called Fontina, Fontizia, lol so something like that. Fontina, however, was the one who had everyone in stitches. I can't help but laugh after pondering it for a while. If you have a hankering for a cheesy pasta, bet your money on this dish at Sol Mio. Seafood Risotto, Fruity Di Mare. Seafood Risotto was a hearty and thick stew-like dish which had squid, shrimp, and mussels. Rich and creamy, but each grain of rice retains its distinct flavor in a traditional risotto. Risotto is an Italian dish in which the rice is pre-cooked, but the liquid is gradually added and absorbed while the grain is constantly stirred. In many Italian households, risotto is preferred because it is both simple and filling. Simple in composition, as well as easy to prepare, and versatile in how it can be adapted to individual taste preferences. Eggplant Parmigiana, Vegetarian. Zamir. Being a vegetarian, it made me very happy to see so many choices on this extensive menu. Domenico really made us feel at home when he kept serving us these specialty dishes, which of course are all on the menu. The finest Italian ingredients are used in all of the dishes. You can't beat the thick, gooey cheese that covers the eggplant submerged in the flavorful tomato sauce. The eggplant parmigiana was full of zest. I've had eggplant parmigiana at other restaurants, but Sol Mio's is the only place I'll ever get it again. Pork escalope, scalapine di maiale. Steamed spinach and shaved pork cutlets were both light and refreshing. As a spicy food fan, I needed to add a little bit of heat to the dish. Pork in a lemon puree sauce, however, went well with the spinach in this dish. Chicken mushroom, pollo di fungi. Chicken with sautéed porcini mushrooms, delicious. What to say, other than scrumptious. Nutty, earthy, and meaty are common descriptors for the flavor and texture of porcini mushrooms. Although they share many of the characteristics of other mushrooms, they have a distinct, nutty flavor. However, these porcini mushrooms swaddled in a creamy sauce encasing the chicken are a delectable combination. A definite must-try item. Homemade real Sicilian-style cannoli.
The freshest, lightest dessert I've ever had was these handmade camelus. My food coma made me believe that I couldn't possibly take another bite, but I did. I didn't think I'd be able to finish the dessert at Sol Mio, but I did, and the others did as well. When dining at an Italian restaurant, what meal is complete without a shot of limoncello? Thank you Domenico, for all your wonderful hospitality and I will most definitely be back with a large group of friends to enjoy the full evening. Because we have 90 indoor seats and 24 outdoor seats at Sol Mio, as well as family-friendly amenities and private parking, our venue can accommodate large crowds. People who are looking for authentic Italian cuisine should make their first stop at Sol Mio, hands down. What was your favorite dish? Let us know in the comments below.